Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a kernel base that DLL error or file is missing error on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match should go back with device manager, so go ahead and left click on that. You want to expand the display adapter section, so double click on it. And then whatever display adapter is listed under here, you want to right click on it and select update driver. It's going to ask how do you want to search for the drivers. Select search automatically for drivers. Windows will search your computer for the best available driver and install it on your device. And might say it already is installed, which is fine. You can also search for updated drivers on Windows Update by selecting that. So if that does not resolve the problem after you've restarted your device, another thing you can do would be to open up the start menu, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt, right click on it, and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. So type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take a few minutes so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's done, we'll suggest closing out of here, restart your computer, and then hopefully your issue should have been resolved at that point. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.